Hey guys, it's Ben the Coin Geek at Old Pueblo Coin, and today I've got a, a comment conversation with Greg who says, hey, uh, he wants to know if he can buy something from me. And of course I say, no, why would I sell you anything, Greg? But uh, he's talking to me about bank bags, and this is something that um, once in a while we talk about how there's, there's lots of things you can collect that are related to coins and coin collecting. And lots of times those things that are kind of on the edges or the periphery are really fun to collect, uh, and there's just partially because there's no price guide for them, partially because it's kind of just like really hunting for stuff, and partially because you get to make up your own rules, right, about uh, things. He says that his mom was a was a banker, and she'd bring home bank bags full of pennies that he could search through as a kid. So what a, what a wonderful collecting story for him. Uh, you know, he says his oldest full bag is a $50 penny bag, 1952 from Denver, uh, and his oldest empty bag is a 1929 San Francisco mint bag, and he can only dream of what was once in there. Um, but uh, he likes to collect uh, collect bags from uh, different banks, right? So this is the fun thing. Anytime you can collect things from different banks, of course. So there's lots of them from wherever you are. So this is uh, proper grammar. First National Bank of Arizona, and this is the type of thing that, of course, uh, we see a lot of bank bags in general because people collect things um, and they bring them into these big bank bags. Uh, so the fun thing is the local banks, but I find even more interesting, you know, if you can find bank bags that have coins in them still. Now this looks really cool and old and gritty. And depending on how old you are, it is. This is 1980 uh, Philadelphia Mint Susan B. Anthony dollars. And it was actually stamped on both sides. It actually has the thread missing up here, so coins escape and can escape. But you can hear it's still full of, still full of coins, which is always kind of fun. You can try to collect all twelve of the of the districts, right? Um, district twelve, the coal mining district, whichever one you want. Uh, this one's the Federal Reserve Bank of San Francisco. And what's cool is sometimes they're dated and sometimes they're not. And I naturally save certain things like this because I have the same thing that Greg's got going on, which I think most of us do, is, okay, I've got this bank from somewhere I'm from, right? So you've got a small town that you're located by, your grandpa was from, whatever, and you see that bank bag, you're like, okay, dude, grandpa was from there, that's the coolest thing, I'm going to have to get that, right? And then you have stuff, for me, because I've seen thousands and thousands of bank bags, um, there's things that you see that you're like, oh, I've never seen that before. So then you decide, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hold on to that. Uh, some of you have noticed this in the background in some of my videos. Um, U.S. Mint Nickel, U.S. Mint Denver $50 Nickel 1941. It's a smaller canvas bag, and uh, I thought this was really cool because I don't see many of them dated from the 40s. And then, you know, a nickel is, you know, specific denomination, so it's these smaller bank bags. Really very, very cool. Just a fun way to collect. So let me know how you guys collect these things. Of course, there's modern things also. Colonel Littleton, if you don't know, now you know. Colonel Littleton, if for those of you who are, are like leather files, I don't even know that's a real thing, but if you love leather work, Colonel Littleton, there's a small town in Tennessee. There's like 300 people there and half of them work for this guy. He makes leather goods. And then, you know, I got a, a leather portfolio or folio, whatever you call it. it still smells good but he ships them out in there. And of course, we have some of our own bank bags that we sell also. Shameless plug here. You know, we sell these for like five bucks on our website. I think they're on our website. If not, the engineer's gonna kill me. Uh, but these I'm almost out of, but I can order more. But we have found these to be really popular for not just collectors, of course, our silver stackers that come in, but also we'll have people that come in and they don't even really collect coins or anything. And they'll want stuff like this, these bank bags, because they find them handy for something that they have, right? Whether they're nuts and bolts and tool kind of guy, or you know they just maybe are saving a lot of flour in their sack, right? So anyways, let me know if you guys collect bank bags at all, or maybe you just had a couple laying around. Uh, and also, um, Greg, thanks so much for the comments and the questions. I enjoyed it and uh, have fun searching for uh, those those overdates and whatnot in your your old bank bags. All right, guys, I'm Ben the Coin Geek. You can subscribe by clicking on the owl button in the corner and watch more videos on the right side of the screen. Thanks.